Hey guys, today we'll be tying a bead head seal for a bugger. It will be in maroon. Uh, you can tie it in purple, black, pink, pretty much any color you can think of. Um, even olive. Uh, olive's a really good color. For I tied mine in purple, olive, black, and uh, red. So let's get started. I have a barbless. <coughs> hook in the vise. I'm not sure if it's a wet fly hook or the streamer wet fly hook with a big gap and I got a, a golden bead. I'm going to start my thread just behind the bead and take it down to just before the bend. Trim your thread off. And here I have a, a, a red and Amer whiting American hackle cape. There's some marabou-y fibers here on the bottom that there's not really any uh, web to them. They're just kind of fluff. That's what I use for the tail on this fly. So I usually pick a kind of like a left and a right. And uh, I kind of align them up. Strip some fibers off each of them line the tips and just make it work. I usually wet them too. Hard work. So we kind of get this wet down and you what you want is the length length of the body of the fly so <clears throat> we measured it out and we're going to do a pinch wrap and then just you can go open spirals up the body and then come back tighten down and trim these materials so <clears throat> you can actually add some flash um, to your tail I, Sometimes doing it, sometimes don't. So I usually only go with one strand of pearl. So I'm going to do one strand on my side. Tie that down. Make a kind of a loop. Roll it over. Get it on the other side. And line that up. And just trim that with the ends of the mango, and that'll all come together. <clears throat> so now we're going to advance a thread to just behind the bead. And we're going to take some brassy sized uh, silver wire by UTC. <clears throat> this will be the rib for the fly. Tie this in just behind the bead and carry your thread down to your tail on the side of the <coughs> hook. So now I just like to e try to even out the body a little bit. <coughs> so now we're going to take our seal fur it's it's it said red, but it's a little bit maroon color. Uh, I like to dub this on loosely. Kind of makes it buggier, and you're gonna rib, so it'll hold everything down. Not too tight, just get it on there. Make it <coughs> quite buggy. Just loosely put it on the rib will secure it and we'll pick it out later if the rib traps down any fibers so <clears throat> dub your seal for on it can be difficult to dub but if you do it loosely like I do and just rib it it really doesn't make a difference it, it, it's actually better than trying to do it tightly and here when you get closer to the bead you can bring back some of the fibers uh, then we want to 
wrap our rib up just open spirals doesn't have to be even I like to do at least uh, like five turns five or six and I do a wrap directly behind the bead bring it up cross the thread pull material back do a few wraps in behind a few wraps in front twist helicopter wire off see I really you don't even have to pick it out but uh, I usually just take an old toothbrush and kinda get some fibers out if, it, if any's trapped at this point you can uh, either add some more material like more uh, seal fur or you can just whip finish it there I'll just whip finish it here so like what I like to do is I take some thinned head cement and run it on your thread and then just whip finish two or three times on the bead and the fly is done very very good fly for the spring fall and even the summer if you find a spring on a lake or anywhere it's fish you can fish it with a floating line a full sinking line a sink tip you can swing it in a river for brook trout in the spring strip it it's pretty much overall great fly so there it is